So right now our application needs these things we can ignore the VDSO uh, unit transfer and use that it needs the libc so we need uh, yeah uh, was there a question if there are questions please uh, please interrupt me because i'm not seeing the the chat okay so the, our application right now uh, uh Razvan, can you mute because there uh, there's an echo in your chat okay thank you so our application needs the libc and the loader if we uh, copy our application the libc and the loader inside unicraft we'll be able to uh, to run the simple hello world application we have how do we do this well uh, if you remember from the last uh, two sessions you saw that we use docker for this so we'll use docker to uh, copy the source code compile everything and then co uh, create a minimal file system that in our case will contain only these dependencies and the executable itself since we are running the c application we need to compile it so we start from uh, docker image the, uh, a GCC Docker image. So we just go on Docker Hub and search for uh, GCC so we can compile uh, our application inside it. Go here for GCC. And we'll just take an image from here and it should be fine. Let's say we copy this one. Let's say, okay, we start from this and let's name this build. We want to copy our main.c in the Docker environment, and then we want to run GCC. Uh, for it to work with Unicraft, we need to compile it as files, and then just name it. So this is just the command that we're going to use to compile our source code. And let's leave it at this for now. So we have a, a Docker container that will just compile the code and that should be it. Let's try to build it and see if it works. Let's remove this and do Docker build. Uh, let's do hello world build. This worked fast because I already did this before. So we have it cached. Now if we, we run this, let, let's first inspect this, so 
so for the unit ls we have this here created 11 seconds ago it's quite big because the gcc uh, docker container is uh, is huge let's attach to it let's say docker run and now here we are in the root uh, directory we have our main.c source file that we copied and we, we have the main executable that you can just run and it works fine again you see the dependencies we use ldd the dependencies are the same that uh, were on our uh, operating system on our host so it's the libc and the loader we remember these and we'll use them a bit later we detach from here now since our docker image is so big it has one and a half gigabytes almost we don't want it it's it's huge we on only need three files to run our hello world up speed so we want to build something a lot, uh, a lot smaller to do that we're going to start a new image from scratch and inside this image we'll just copy the files that we need what files we need so we'll just are looking at the ldd com command from above First, we need the executable, of course, so let's copy that. And then we need the libc. And we need the loader. that should be the entire file system we need if we have these files we should be able to run our hello world application let's run docker build again now this is building our new image that we can see uh, I think it should be this one but it shows me three hours ago because I think it just uh, didn't update it because I built it before it has 2.15 megabytes it's a lot smaller than this one and if we run this if we actually try to run it uh, to attach to it using bash it won't work because it doesn't have uh, bash in it but if you let me okay it also froze I didn't expect it to freeze so I'll just open the terminal Okay, but if we try to attach to it and run our uh, our executable, that is the main. This one should work and it should print uh, our message. So right now we have a minimal Docker image that contains a file system that only has the required components to run our application. This again is very simple because it uses a very basic application. You will see today how to do it with more complex applications like Python applications or Redis or some other stuff. Usually it, uh, it contains a lot more stuff, but it's all uh, gonna be in the form of this. We just copy, uh, copy some files from a Docker image to another. Now that we have this docker image, we will need a craft file. Usually for the craft file, you can just go to the application catalog that you used before and search a craft file from there and just copy paste it and adapt it. Let's say we go to examples and we, I don't know, let's say HTTP. So you don't need to remember the syntax for this file, just copy it. We use the same runtime, we use the same uh, name for the docker file, we just change the command to make. So this is the minimum requirement for craft to work. 
you can copy it from any example in the catalog. Now once we have this, we should be able to do craft build and let's add in the schema and add some pages with this as well. Let's see if it works. Yes, it is working. It might take a bit of time. In the meantime, if there are any questions, please uh, inbox them. Okay, now it's building, it's creating the uh, the Docker file, the, the Docker images, sorry. So it's basically creating that big GCC Docker image because it, it can't use the caching that it already has and then it will compile our partition and copy everything into that minimal uh, minimal file system and now the build is complete it shows us that we have a cpio ar archive of 2.1 megabytes this archive will contain everything we need for our application and then we can just do a craft run And now again we will wait a bit. I don't have the last, the, the latest craft version, but you should not get this warning. You should be on the la uh, latest version. And if this works fine, we should see our hello world now. building now it should be done and it prints hello world so just to recap what we did we have an application that that we want to run on top of unicorn you did this already but the applications were, uh, were already there so you didn't need to fork anything but let's say you, you have your own application that you want to run this is how you would go about it so you have your application you know what to do to compile it and to build it to create an executable out of it you do this in a docker file so again this uh, docker file is uh, quite simple because i only have a simple c application if you have a more complex application this will be larger it will contain more uh, instructions and so on but basically you will want to end up with your executable inside a docker uh, container then you go into that container and you find out what the uh, requirements for uh, your applications are. In our case, we have the executable, the libc, and the loader. You create a new Docker container from scratch and you copy this. Then you have a craft file that, again, you can just copy paste from anywhere. You have this craft file, you uh, add the run command here that you want to use, and then that should be craft will build this Docker. Uh, container will export the file system and then we'll attach that file system to the uh, base runtime and you should have your application working any questions so far we spend maybe one two minutes here uh, because it's quite a lot of information Can you share what command you're running that gives you this error? So paste the command you're running and the entire of error if there is anything more. Yes, Stephen, the commands you showed us on the terminal, even I saw that uh, warning appear. 
cra- when you run craft run i guess like uh you say tra- when you're trying to run you use craft run or craft build i i think craft run or craft deploy um, okay okay oh oh so you mean this one yeah this one yeah yeah but uh, does it work so your image runs yeah it works but that warning is that expected like yeah uh, my, probably yeah. not but i i don't know where it's coming from we can uh, ask uh, probably alex will know about it but if if it works it's fine you can just ignore it for now cool i i joined just now like few minutes back can can you help me catch up with, like what i missed yes so again to recap everything what we want to do in this session is take an application and port it ourselves on top of unicorn so if until now we used applications that were already ported in the catalog or whatever uh, now we want to port an application ourselves and how do we do that with with the example with a simple hello world application so we have an application hello world application that in order to run needs some other files to be uh, on the system so if you just copy the executable the main executable on another uh, machine it's likely it won't run properly why because because it has some dependencies to figure out what those is those dependencies are the easiest way to do it is to create a docker container where you build your entire application again in this case it's a simple docker container that uh, starts from the gcc image and just runs the gcc command and co- compiles the application if we have some more complex applications this will get bigger and there will be more instructions here but uh, you'll see that in uh, during the session after we do this we will attach to it to see what the dependencies are we'll see that the dependencies are the libc and the loader so uh, let's uh, let's just try to attach again to, to see how that works this Stephen, how did we uh, narrow down the dependencies list of dependencies uh, sorry can you speak a bit louder because I, I, I didn't hear that yeah I, I, is it better now can you hear yeah, me yeah, yeah, yeah it's much better okay I, I i was asking how did we narrow down the uh, dependencies list yeah yeah is that, it that violent error or? Now. yeah that's what i mean oh, okay okay so uh, after we build this first image so this one without this one you can ignore this for now we'll add this later so after we have this we have a docker container that compiles our application we can uh, build it so we will run docker build uh, so it will be docker build this but I, I already did this then we can attach to the docker container in our case it will be this one And then if we look here, we will see our application that is already uh, built. We can run it. And to figure out the dependencies, we can run LDD main. And it will show us uh, what it needs. You can ignore the video, so this will only show up, but we don't need this in Unicron. So what we're left with is the libc and the loader. And obviously the executable says you have to do this. Got it. So after you did this, you already have a, a file system that uh, uh, has everything it needs, but you can see that this is a huge file system, it has almost one and a half gigabytes. We don't want that, we want something very minimal because it just, uh, it's just a Hello World application. To create something very minimal, we start from scratch, so this will be an empty uh, Docker image, and we just copy what we need. We copy the executable, we copy the libc and the loader, the things we saw uh, before. Then we run docker build again and we will end up with an image, in our case is 2.15 megabytes. This is the minimal do- uh, file system that Unicraft will need to run the uh, application that will compile. After we have this, we'll need a craft file. The craft file you can just copy from somewhere in the catalog. I use the HTTC craft file. So just copy it and replace the command with uh, the name of your application. 
and after you do this everything should work fine so you can use craft uh, craft build and craft run so i won't build it again and uh, yeah craft run will do uh, will just have to wait for, for it again okay so i have an error right now but uh, again i don't have the latest version so that's probably why i have the, the this error you can see before that uh, i ran it and it, it worked fine So what we'll focus on today is create this Docker file for different applications, starting from easy ones like this Hello World one to more complex applications like I don't know Python or uh, Redis, and then take that and uh, uh, create a minimum file system that you can use with Unix operating system. The session is here. You have a link to uh, this more in depth details you start with redis you won't need to build redis so most applications you won't need to build them because most of them already have uh, containers that contain them already built there so uh, because i used an application that i created and uh, started from basically from the source code i need to build it so i started from the gcc uh, docker image but if you are trying to port something that already exists, like Redis, it's an application that's already there, you can use that uh, container directly. And then you have here step-by-step -step tutorials on uh, how to find the dependencies. You can see that there are more dependencies that than what we had. And then how the final uh, Docker file should look like. Again, it's not much, so it's it's very minimal. You just start from a container and then uh, copy some files from there. But that uh, that should be all it takes. So you start with Redis, and then you have some uh, Docker web server, and also I think Splat, yeah, Python Splat. The tasks are here in this spreadsheet. Again, I link it to you. Uh, yeah, just go through these items and if you have any questions let me know we can uh, as usual split in teams and i'll wait maybe about half an hour to let you uh, go through everything and then i'll join you to see how it goes any other questions okay perfect then we can split into teams and uh, i'll be there in about half an hour 